Hi guys, my name is Amit Singh and uh, welcome to my channel on Cisco Collaboration Learning Series. And uh, today's video is not a technical video or anything, you know, so I'm not going to talk about uh, Postman and uh, Cisco Unified Communications Manager, uh, but I'm going to talk about something really interesting that would be... Um, yeah, uh, of interest to you guys uh, in case you have time this July because what's coming up this July is there is a new announcement and what is this new announcement all about? So we are going to have two, oh sorry, two <laughs> Cisco Live sessions. Uh, no, sorry, not Cisco Live. It's going to be a, uh, live sessions from my side on Cisco Unified Communications. And what are we going to talk about in these two live sessions in July? Um, we are going to talk about uh, Expressway Basics and Design. So by Expressway Basics, I mean not the configuration of MRA. You will find hundreds of documents about it, not the uh, discussion about uh, B2B configuration. You would find hundreds of videos, uh, maybe not hundreds, tens of videos and uh, hundreds of documents and blogs, of course. You know, So what we are going to talk about is really what are the basic things in expressways. For example, what is a NAT traversal in real world, you know, so and um, what is a DMZ in Expressway, for example? So these are some topics that we are going to discuss about in Expressways. And uh, yeah, we are going to also talk about some design topics in Expressway. Where should I keep my Expressway? And when do I need the Expressway? When does a customer really need an Expressway? And for which customer is this Expressway really needed? You know, and where do I place my Expressways? Um, it's not about installing the virtual machine. It's simple, but we are going to talk about what kind of expressway do I need, you know? So we are going to talk about the real world scenarios in this session. So it's going to be one hour or two hour session, of course. And uh, the next topic that we are going to talk about is Cisco Unified Communications on-prem design. So Cisco Unified Communications Manager for Jabber or I'm in presence and calling and call control and all of these things. But we are not going to talk about how do we configure a phone. Instead, what are the things that are needed to configure a phone? For example, I need a PBX and then what kind of PBX? Do I need a B6000? Do I need a Cisco CME or do I need uh, a bigger uh, server you know so what kind of ucs do i need so really it's not about installation but how do i do these installations and why do i do these installations and uh, what not so basically the core design part of it what do the technical consultants talk about uh, uh, Cisco Unified Communications infrastructure with the customers. So probably I, I'm, I'm going to bring maybe one or two, uh, if possible, uh, these technical consultants as well with me. And then we are going to discuss and ask questions. So be ready. If you guys want to ask some questions, be there in that live session as well, you know. And there is something more special for the beginners, especially uh, the college pass outs and people who have just started their first step in the Cisco collaboration and are still a little bit skeptic about uh, mm, should I do it? Should I not do it? There is something special for them. So what's special is a $1 course on basics of Cisco collaboration and it's going to be a one week course wherein I'm going to talk about the really important things that are needed. And we are going to do every day one, one and a half hour course. And why is it one dollar? Because I don't want to make it free so that people um, don't show so much of an interest about it. You know, uh, it's not about earning money from it. It's about sharing knowledge, but it's also about people taking this knowledge seriously and understand and ask and make these sessions interactive, you know. So that's why I'm going to make it a $1 course and it's going to be in batches. So maybe one batch would consist of, let's say, 10, 15 guys and then maybe next batch and the next and the upcoming batches. And the other thing that uh, I'm going to do is with one of my friends, wherein we have been having a rack rental kind of a system, you know. So wherein you could uh, not only rent a rack, we would also create some scenarios for you guys 
and then you could work on those scenarios maybe some troubleshooting scenarios and maybe some deployment scenarios and whatnot so we are working on that but still the rack is uh, ready and designed and in case you guys want to use those racks get in contact with me i will share the website wherein you can uh, get some more information or um, yeah the website is still in the building phase but the rack is ready and uh, we could still discuss on this channel in the comment section if you need some more information so there are some really uh, good things that are coming up so this rack will not only be for uh, cc and a kind of uh, thing of course ccna is not there right now but i'm not going to talk about the certification so it's going to be a general collaboration rack it's not related to any examination so it's going to be for people who want to learn about cisco collaboration you know with some different real world scenarios so we'll be talking about um, those things so you know uh, keep keep things interactive and ask some questions if you want in the comment section and please do subscribe to my channel to get more information or in the Cisco collaboration Facebook group for this two hours live sessions on in July and I will post the dates and the time and everything and how do you join it maybe I'll do a YouTube live as well as Cisco uh, uh, sorry not Cisco but uh, uh, Facebook live as well as on LinkedIn let's see how it works um yeah that's it for today and uh, i would thank you guys for uh, watching this video and make use of this video i hope it will uh, help you so stay safe stay healthy and uh, we get in touch again quickly soon very soon thank you bye bye